Good boy, it's your boy Mr. Tachi. I am back. Now today's video I got Call of Duty World War 2 beta right here. I'm playing. I just want to show you guys some of the gameplay. Give you my thoughts on the beta and the game so far. And I believe it's a good game. I believe it's a good game for a good year in the Call of Duty franchise. Now don't let the haters okay, don't let the haters leave the newcomers, you know, in doubt because I know people would say, oh yeah, the, it's just a bad thing, you know, things aren't looking so good or whatever, you know, so I, I'm not going to play the game again. No, no, that's not the attitude you should look at. The beta is not the final version. The beta is basically for information and improvements for the Call of Duty developers to get so they can improve their game and make it more enjoyable and more fun. So with that being said, I'm going to tell you guys some things about the classes. Now this year got what they call divisions each division is aligned to kind of like a, uh, a set traits so like I'll put it this way for infantry you got these special bayonets that you can have on the uh, you know end of your weapon all that thing, okay and along with the bayonets you have classes are not classes but perks which can be assigned or the infantry so basically look at it this way I have a you know gun here which is basically assault rifle or whatever it's, I think it's called a snag or something like that I don't know one of two and with this I have um, perks that allow me to either you know maybe one of them could be aim down sights quicker um, you know looking through the scope or something like that or you know aim quicker or move quicker with aiming down sight, something like that. Okay, now what this applies to is the class depending on the level. So if you unlock this class and you want to use it and you want to, you know, you see a perk or whatever that you want to try to unlock and get to, go ahead and use the class with the gun and you can unlock the perks along with it. Now I don't know if the class is mandatory with the weapon, I don't, I don't think you have to like necessarily use the weapon um that they gave you or you know i don't know if you have to use a saw rifle with the infantry just to increase the division or not i mean i think you got to miss things around and uh see if it works that way i'm not too sure though i mean like for, for me i went ahead and used the uh because there's the division called the mountain right which basically has a perk on there that um lets you not be seen while you're moving on the mini map which is pretty cool because it's kind of like ghost so I went ahead to use a submachine gun on there. So you guys, mission match, you know, if you guys like to use submachine guns with suppressors, oh go ahead and use the uh, airborne division. Because that's pretty cool, because now you got the uh, chance to put on a suppressor on your gun and not have to have it as attachment anymore, which is pretty cool. I like the fact of that. And guys, this game is very fluid. The, the guns have strong damage. Um, and the hit fire, the hit fire guys, the hit fire is just amazing on this game. Like, I don't know how many times I just went around the corner, sprayed and prayed with the hit fire and got a kill. Because it is very, 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 like, accurate on this game for some reason. Without the use of steady aim, it's just, it's just incredible. You know, it's just, uh, it's just amazing. So, I mean, guys, I don't know, but your boy just been laying bodies down with the hit fire. So, anyways, guys. Another thing I want to say is that the spawns, uh, the spawns are kind of like not all over the place, but you do spawn like pretty far in the back, so you kind of like gotta run into the fire again. And what usually happens sometimes is that you'll get cluttered with a bunch of enemies in the middle, and they'll kind of stop you from proceeding forward, kind of thing. I mean, that kind of happens, you know. But uh, it is the beta, like I said. Um, things are not gonna be, you know, the same when the game comes out. I mean, I'm sure plenty of changes will be improved and implemented. So it all depends on, you know, how the game really goes as, you know, as it goes on in progression in its lifetime or whatever. So I mean, guys, um, this game is very fun. I mean, I enjoyed it a lot. I feel like it's very balanced. Um, I feel like some things could be changed, but. 
you know, it's it's the beta, guys. You gotta just give it a shot. You gotta give it a try. You gotta play the game and uh, then give your insight on it. Give your opinion on it. And you know, only you can truly choose if you want to continue playing. But for me, I feel like I'm gonna play this game a whole bunch. I feel like this game is gonna be one of those games that I just cannot get my hands off of. And you know, I feel like the new kids, the new people, the new uh, Call of Duty fans could get this game and feel like, you know, it, it's really home because it really is, it really is, uh, you know, kind of back to the roots of Boots on the Ground and, uh, you know, the old style traditional Call of Duty that we all know and love. And, um, guys, that's just my take on it. That's just my thought on it. So, if you guys did like this video, leave a like, subscribe to your boy, you know, and, uh, don't let me know you guys really enjoy this content and really want to me to produce some more videos on Call of Duty because I will. I would go ahead, give you some classes, give you some tips or whatever that I pick up, you know, and just uh, give you some, some insight on what I, I think about the game. So guys, um, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video.